Hi all of you, welcome to a new video by Talent Battle. Okay, this one has important questions for TCS uh, Digital. So this is going to help you prepare for TCS Digital. Now these questions have been asked in the previous exam of TCS Digital. So these give you an idea regarding what kind of questions can be asked in this exam. Okay, also Talent Battle can help you prepare for uh, the TCS Digital exam by various packages it has. For further information about the various packages, you can check out the description of this video. Okay. Also, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to uh, get uh, regular updates about such important videos which are there that would help you prepare. Also, you can join and subscribe to our Telegram channel uh, for more practice questions as well as getting updates about new exams and the videos that are there. So, let's start with the questions. In a birthday party, there are 20 identical slices of cake that have to be distributed among four children. If every child is to get at least two slices, then in how many ways can this distribution be done? Enter your answer only as a numeral in the box. So there are no options and sort of we have to find the answer and uh, write the text. Okay, the answer in the text box. Now over here, the most important part is 20 identical slices and they have to be uh, distributed among four children such that everyone gets at least two slices. So it is like if there are say four children, A, B, C and D. So everyone gets at least two slices okay after that after these eight slices which are there total eight slices okay how many remain out of 20 when eight go only 12 remain okay 12 slices these 12 slices can be distributed among these four in n number of ways like it can be it can happen that 12 can be given to all all slices can be given to a and the rest are getting zero or it might happen they are getting nine and three and zero and zero or it might happen everyone can get like around about three 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 anything can happen okay any possibility is there okay so first of all most important thing is there are 20 identical slices so if you give two two slices to each of the uh, each of the ch uh, children so that basic criteria gets satisfied that everyone gets at least two slices and since they are identical slices there is only one way of doing this okay there is only one way of doing this and then after this after this one way and we have to now distribute Okay, this is the main part of the question. Distribute 12 identical slices. Why 12? Because out of 20 already 8 have been distributed. So 12 identical slices among 4 children. Okay, such that including the possibility that anyone can get any one can get any number of any number of slices, any number of slices, including 0. Okay, that means it might happen that some uh, some of them might get uh, zero slices or one of the student and uh, one of the children might get uh, what he says zero slices. Okay, including zero. Okay, this is the condition. So distribute 12 identical slices among four children such that anyone can get any anyone can get any number of slices including zero. Okay, so this is distributing n identical objects among R groups such that each of the group can get any number of objects including 0 and the formula for that is direct formula n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 so you actually should know this formula by heart okay this is for distributing okay i'll write over here distributing uh, n identical objects this is very important identical objects among r people among r groups okay such that each one, each group gets any number, each group gets any number of objects, each group gets any number of objects, number of objects, including zero, okay, including zero. So, because even it is possible that zero objects can be including zero, zero objects can be given. So, what we have is one into n over here are 12 slices remaining, okay, 12. And how many children are there? Four. I have to distribute among four groups, that is four children minus 1 c 4 minus 1 so what do you get over here is 1 into 12 plus 4 is 16 minus 1 is 15 c 3 okay that is 15 c 3 is the answer let's try to find the answer for this 15 into 14 into 13 divided by 3 factorial that is 3 into 2 into 1 so 2 into 7 3 into 5 that comes out to be 35 into 13 that comes out to be 455 ways these are the total ways of distributing 20 identical slides to four children okay if every child is to get at least two slices 
Now, this is a slightly higher version of combination, permutation and combination. Okay, these possibilities which are there. Okay, so you should know the standard formulas for these possibilities. It is very important. Okay, this is slightly one level above the, the normal permutation combination questions. Okay, even in normal permutation combination questions, there are higher difficulty levels, but this is like completely different category. Okay, where identical objects are try being tried to put into groups such that each group can get even zero objects. If you try to solve it like this NCR that means 12 objects I have to distribute among four children over here that it is getting considered that it is not actually considering that uh, 12, uh, 12 objects are distributed in any man manner among the four kids okay here it is only considering that 12 objects are getting uh, sorry four objects are getting selected out of 12 objects okay that is the only thing happening here it is like one of the student getting zero objects or something like that is not considered right. So 12C4 would not be right. It has a standard formula, which is this. Okay. And you have to buy heart it. What is the least multiple of 13, which when divided by 3, 4, 5, 8 and 10 leaves remainder 2 in each case. Okay. Now over here, I want the least multiple of 13. That means I need to find LCM, but LCM of which numbers of the numbers given over here. Okay. And in each case, the remainder is same. That is 2. So there is a trick that whenever you have to find the LCM. Okay and you have the same remainder in each case, then you just find the LCM and you add the remainder to it to get, get your answer. Okay. So over here, what you need to do is you just try to find the LCM. Okay. You'll get like this three, four, five, eight, and 10. I'll try to find the LCM of all of them. All five do not have anything in common, but these three actually have two in common, right? So I'll write three and five as it is two twos are two fours are and two fives are Okay, so now 5 and 5 have 5 in common. So I'll start dividing by 5. 5 ones are 5 ones are. This is 4, 2 and 3. Now 2 and 4 have 2 in common. So 2 ones are, 2 twos are. Rest are 1 and this is 3. And then again divided by 2, 1, 1, 1. And 3 remains and divide, division by 3, 1, 1, 1, 1. So we got 1 at the end. Okay, so LCM comes out to be this L which is there. This is the LCM. Okay. So 2 into 5 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1 into 1. So 5 twos are 10, 10 twos are 20, 20 twos are 40, 40 threes are 120. This is the LCM. Okay. 120 is the LCM. But this is not the answer. The answer is going to be what? The answer is going to be 120. Okay. Plus 2. That comes out to be 122. Now, if you try to divide 122 by 13, so you are going to get 9.38. That means 122 is not at all divisible by 13. So this cannot be the answer. Then after 120, what can be the next number? After 122, what can be the next number? It is very easy to find out. Go back to the LCM. This is the LCM, correct? So 120 is actually divisible by all of them. So the next number which is divisible by all these five numbers will be 240. Okay. So now, if you try 242, okay, if you try, if you add 2 to this, what you are going to get 242, okay. In this case also, if you divide by all these 5 numbers, you are going to get remainder as 2. But the problem is 242 itself is not divisible by 13, okay. So 240 is not also not allowed. Move on to the next number that is going to be 360, okay. So 360, if you try 360, if you add 2 to it, you are going to get the answer as 362, but this is not divisible by 13. Let's move on to the next one. Okay. That is going to be 480. Okay. That is also plus 2. So it is going to be 482. Again, this one is also not divisible by 13. Okay. 482 is also not divisible by 13. Next one is going to be uh, 600. Okay. And it should come out to be 602. So you can try to check whether 602 is divisible by 13. It also is not divisible by 13. Okay. Next one comes out to be 720. And then you, you can try to divide it. Stay up. Uh, add 2 to it. You get 722. This is also not divisible by 13. Next one is 840. Okay. Sort of multiples of 120 you have to try out. So one for, uh, 142. If you try to 842, if you try to divide by 13, still you don't get the answer. Uh, here also, this is also not allowed. Like plus 2, you get 842. That is also not allowed. The next one is going to be, I'll write over here, 960. You add 2 to it, you are going to get 962. 
So 962, if you try to divide by 13, you are going to get the answer. 962 divided by 13. Okay. So what you get is uh, 13 sevens are, you get uh, round about 13 fives are 65, 13 sevens are 78. Okay. So you get uh, 78, 13 uh, sevens are uh, 13 into 7 comes out to be 91 actually really very sorry about it 91 52 and 13 fours are 52 so 74 you get the answer so it is only at this point okay for 962 that when you divide by 3 4 5 8 and 10 remainder is going to be 2 you can try to check out here in each case remainder is going to be 2 okay and it is divisible by all all four of them with remainder 2 and it is divisible completely by 13 okay so answer is 962 the main trick over here was not the part that okay LCM plus the same uh, remainder and because this is very easy this is a normal question of HCF LCM. The main part was that it has to be a multiple of 13 so you had to check for multiple numbers whether it gets divisible by 13 or not and you don't have to check whether 360 or 480 is divisible by 13 or not you had to check 482 okay you have to add 2 and check this add 2 and check this add 2 and check this whether it is divisible by 13 or not this is the reason why tables are very important so but still okay it was uh i mean slightly easy it was not difficult only logic was that you had to check out for the multiple of 13 which was much more important condition you want to pick two distinct numbers from the set 1 2 3 4 in how many ways you can do this so that the product is even okay now when you want product to be even one number okay okay has to be even or both numbers even okay two numbers even right so now there are only two possibilities there are only two possibilities even product and odd product correct there is no other way right so ways of getting the even product plus the ways of getting odd product okay is going to be the total ways which are there okay now I want to do what are the total ways I want to pick only two numbers so total ways I'll first find out total ways of picking two numbers I'm going to write over here picking two numbers picking two numbers would be what out of four numbers I have to just pick two numbers sequence is not important so it is pure combination question so what I get is 4 into 3 divided by 2 factorial that comes out to be 4 into 3 divided by 2 okay so this is going to be 2 2's are so there are six ways in which I can pick okay total ways are six now total ways in which I get even product I want even product no ways of even product will be equal to total ways minus ways of odd product ways of odd product so what do you get is 6 minus how many ways I can get an odd product if I try to find out for an odd product okay for an odd product both have to be odd okay both have to be odd so there is only one way in choosing an odd product why you choose one and three okay this is the you want to pick two numbers you have to choose one and three this is the only way of getting odd product for this set okay you choose three first and then one or one first and then three doesn't matter you just have to pick two odd numbers that is one and three so there is only one way so answer comes out to be five five in five ways you can get an even product okay let us try to check that out one two three and four i have to pick two numbers okay i can pick one and two i can pick one and three i can pick one and four next two and one i have already done over here two and uh, two and two okay uh, two distinct numbers i have to pick so two and two i cannot pick distinct means different numbers i can't have one and one three and three okay two uh, two and one uh, i cannot pick already picked over here two and two uh, I cannot pick 2 and 3 I can pick okay and 2 and 4 I can pick then 3 1 3 2 is already done 3 3 not possible 3 and 4 okay 4 1 already done 4 2 already done and 4 3 also done so out of these six ways okay this if you are not able to remember this part okay the reason I have solved it in this way is that here the number set of numbers was very less 
so you could solve it by trial and error also but if the set of numbers would have been more trial and error would consume more time than the method given over here so both the methods i am trying to teach okay this we are trying to confirm this is going to give me a product 2 3 1s are 3 4 1s are 4 2 3s are 6 2 4s are 8 and 3 4s are 12 if you check out in all of this only one odd product is there for 1 and 3 the rest are even products okay so five of them five ways are there in which i can pick two distinct numbers so that the product so that their product is even an express train is 150 meters long and it is running at the speed of 90 kilometers per hour it crosses a mail train which is running on a parallel track in the opposite direction in 6.3 seconds when these two trains are traveling on a parallel tracks in the same direction with the same speed as before they take 50.4 seconds to cross each other the length in meters of the mail train actually this question is easy okay it is a general question only thing is it has been uh, slightly modified to make it look tough but actually it is absolutely easy if you try to consider the entire question boils down to two situations okay one of the situation is when the trains are crossing each other op in opposite direction and the other situation is when both the trains are trying to cross each other in the same direction okay or that is parallel tracks right so in both the situations the speeds are not going to remain same because speeds of both the trains are different so the relative since both trains are moving we are going to use the concept of relative speed and since the directions are different of both the speeds relative speeds are going to be different also time taken to cross each other in the two situations is different the only thing constant over here is the distance traveled in the first case and the distance traveled in second case in both the cases the distance traveled will be equal to the addition of length of the trains okay so over here in the first case say when they are moving in opposite direction the speed in first case into time in first case would be equal to speed in second case into time in second case now speed in first case now i don't know the speed of the mail train okay so what i'm going to do is let speed of mail train be let speed of mail train be x kilometers per hour i'm going to write it in x kilometers per hour only okay so in the first case since they are moving in opposite direction the relative speed is going to be what 90 kilometers per hour plus x kilometers per hour okay because relative speed in opposite direction we have to add the speeds now in trains most of the units are in meters and seconds okay so i'll convert this kilometers per hour into seconds by multiplying by 5 by 18 okay and the time taken is 6.3 seconds in the first case in the second case since they are moving in same direction speed is going to be 90 minus x converting it into meters per second and time taken is 50.4 okay so this is going to be 9 into 0 0.7 and 9 uh, fives are 45 5.6 okay so this comes out to be 0 0.71 0 0.7 into 8 is right so what i get over here is 5 by 18 gets cancelled from both sides i get 90 plus x is going to be 8 nines are 72 720 minus 8x so this is going to be 9x will be equal to 600 and 30 because 720 minus 90 72 minus 9 comes out to be 630 so x comes out to be 70 kilometers per hour right so now i have to find out length in meters of the mail train okay so i can put the value of x either over here in d1 or i can put it in d2 both it is fine so i'll put in d1 okay distance traveled in the first case is speed in first case into time in first case now speed in first case is going to be 90 plus 70 into 5 by 80 into 6.3 so this 6.3 i'll try to convert it into normal number removing the decimal 90 plus 70 is 160 okay into 5 into 63 divided by 180 that is 63 divided by 10 okay 18 into 10 is 180 so this zero gets cancelled out 9 twos are 9 sevens are and 2 into 8 right so 8 into 7 fives are 35 35 twos are 70 70 fours are 280 so 280 meters is the distance traveled in the first case now in case of trains when two trains cross each other the distance traveled will be equal to the lengths of the trains okay so this is the length of the express train and this is the length of the mail train so length of the mail train would be what it is going to be 280 minus uh, 150 which is the length of the express train that comes out to be 130 meters okay so the length in meters of the mail train is 130 meters this is the answer final answer i asked my daughter how many students are there in our class she said it is equal to the sum of three consecutive natural numbers 
मोर ओवर इट इज ऑल्सो इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ टू नेचुरल नंबर फॉलोइंग दो थ्री कॉन्जेटिव नेचुरल नंबर वॉट इज द आंसर टू माई वॉट इज द आंसर टू माई क्वेश्चन सो नाउ ओवर इयर यू कैन कंसिडर द कॉन्जेटिव नेचुरल नंबर एज लाइक दिस ओके दिस इज वन एन एन प्लस वन एन प्लस टू और अदर वे इज यू कैन कंसिडर दम लाइक दिस ऑल्सो एन माइनस वन एन एंड एन प्लस वन ओके So I'll consider the second scenario. Even with the first scenario, we are going to get the same answer. So number of students are how much? Number of students. Uh, the daughter says that the number of students are sum of n minus one plus n plus n plus one. Okay, sum of the three consecutive numbers. So that comes out to be n minus one plus n plus n plus one. Cancel, cancel. That comes out to be three n. Okay, but she also says that. it is equal to the sum of so number of students is also equal to sum of two natural numbers following those three consecutive natural numbers so these are the three consecutive natural numbers after that what are the two consecutive numbers n plus 2 and n plus 3 so summation of this also will be equal to the num uh, summation of these two will also be equal to the number of students okay so that is going to be n plus 2 plus n plus 3 okay these are also number of students so what is this this is 2n plus 5 so both these are number of students so we have to equate them so 2n plus 5 would be equal to 3n so n will be equal to 5 okay these are this is the value of n so now we have to find the number of students either i can put the value of n over here okay this place or i can put the value of n over here so i'll put it over here i'm going to get 3n is the number of students that is 3 into 5 is equal to 15 15 is the answer okay 15 students are there in the class of the uh, of that person's daughter